I just want to start by thanking 20 UKH for his Facebook group and Damo Parker for all the help and information that he's provided. I definitely could not have done it without Damo Parker. Thank you very much. Let's get you using all the reflectors without having to buy a hotspot and instead just buy yourself a little Pi Zero which is here for under £15 and nothing else and you're going to need two micro USB cables B version one goes the, the one on the bottom here or to nearer this end yeah um, is going to go to the just normal power the other one is going to go to your ICOM 705 now you're going to need an adapter you can buy cables with micro USB at the other end but most of us have got these haven't we so all you do is get yourself an adapter uh, it looks like this let's just move this over so the other end is obviously micro USB this is the normal USB and you just plug it in there and you effectively you've got yourself an adapter to get you on to you know to basically connect the Pi Zero to your Icon 705 now the other thing you need to do is just go so we're in normal mode here go menu go DV gateway and then before you select terminal mode go down to gateway select here and then just tap it and make sure you you're not on wireless LAN you're on USB B okay and then once you've done that go menu and then select DV gateway and go up and select terminal mode now if you want to know how to come out of ter terminal mode you just go menu DV gateway normal mode just in case you're a bit worried about that so menu and that's it terminal mode once you're in that then we'll look at what you need to do to your p normal pi star you know configuration first thing you do is go to your pi star and this is what it normally looks like and then click here where it says d star repeater and just apply those changes give that a minute so you're back at this, and what we're actually looking for is when we down, drop this down, we were looking for ICOM repeater terminal mode, but we're not getting it, so we have to do this other uh, section that's going to be following. So what we do is we go to expert, uh, then SSH access. Then here we put in PyStar. So P I dash S T A R, then go enter, then Raspberry, and then enter, and you get to this window here. Now we type in R P I, Let's just click it here again, R lowercase p i flat line then r w and hit enter and then in front of this we'll have a space now oh, there's already a space there so put sudo u d o space b a s h okay now hit enter now type in nano nano space etc slanted line udev slash okay now at this point hit the tab once then twice. Right, I just realized I made a mistake. In front of ETC, there should have been another slanted line. So we'll have to go back. Slanted line, ETC, slash, U D E V slash right nano space e yep got that correct now hit the tab button on your com on your computer keyboard on the left you've got the word tab 
hit that. I think twice I hit it last time. And you get this new line appear, as you can see. So in front of this word where it says UDEV slash, type rules. Let's click it again. R U L E S rules dot D slash one hundred flat line pi star dot rules. Then press enter. And you get to this page here. Now you see that they've already added the ICOM 4100. What we want to do now is add the ICOM 705, and that will be in the next section. Thanks for watching so far. Also, KLOP Solutions, they've got a nice write up on this. And it's from here I managed to find the exact, um, what do you call it? I, know, is it? I don't know what it's called, code for putting into the SDR. So I copied and pasted from here. I uh, literally just copied copied and pasted it, and I'll show you that in the video. So thanks to them as well. So we're just going to add in our ICOM 705 files. So this is what I'm going to paste this whole link into the description, and it's, it's by Klopp Solutions, and it talks about what we're doing. So um, I'm sure you can add other, other radios, but we've copied here the section for this ICOM mm -hmm. 705. We've copied that, okay? Click copy. So go back to this page here. Now see it's flashing the hash here. Use your down arrow on the comp keyboard and just go down as far as you can go. Now you can like right click on your mouse and click paste from browser and then paste what you've copied into this box like so and click OK. So that's put the file there for the ICOM 705. So now all you've got to do is select Control X and then Y for yes, click Y, hopefully no errors at this point, and then enter. And if you don't get an error, you've, uh, you've done this correct, then just type in exit, enter, type in exit again, exit, and then log out. And it now says session closed. So all you've got to do now, I might have showed this already, is go to configuration and then repower the whole thing. I think I have already shown this, haven't I? Um, and then you will find that terminal mode icon now shows in the list. So once you've uh, come out of that, and go to configuration. <coughs> it's going to come up with that, but you want to reboot it first by clicking power and then click reboot. Wait for it to come back on. Okay. Then back in configuration. So at this point, you'll be able to select the modem, and this time you will have terminal mode for D star. So that definitely made you know that's definitely made it work. And then you apply those changes, and then the radio, which I'm going to show you, just to show you again what the radio needs to look like before you start having contacts. And we'll get you back onto the dashboard as well. And then let's just uh, let's uh, key the radio. Call sign is in the radio. Just go menu, and it, it will be. You've had it a while. Set my station. And just make sure you've got your call sign in the radio. Use the radio in the normal way. You can link to reflectors, reflectors here, and you can have, uh, select link and then go to direct input. You can select REF. Let's move this. DS, DCS, XLX, and XRF as well. You just select them like that. It will keep them in the history. That's an old one we've already connected to. So, and then when you're actually talking on a reflector, select use reflector. So you use it in the normal way. And you do need to make sure your call sign is in the radio. Use the radio in the normal way. You can link to reflectors, reflectors here. And you can have, uh, select link and then go to direct input. 
you can select RAF. Let's move this. DS, DCS, XLX, and XRF as well. You just select them like that. It will keep them in the history. That's an old one we've already connected to. So, and then when you're actually talking on a reflector, select use reflector. So you use it in a normal way.